ready for this shit. Murder music. I the My name's Matt. Welcome back to the shop. And today I want to talk about something quite cool that we might see in the future. Uh, is um, what they're starting to call the cage piston. So Wise Core came out with this piston. So generally pistons have a skirt. That's bad. It always, it's always the second half that I always get fucking dickhead. Dickered by. So you have your uh, wrist pin. Shift out of the way. Wrist pin, piston rings, and all the rest of it. And you need side skirt because side skirt is basically what top stops the fucking cylinder tipping like an idiot. And you'll get horrible piston slap. And hence why you actually get piston slap on the side of your skirt. So what they do is they remove all this shit. Um, so you get a piston like this. I'll put a picture up. Um, so you've got a uh, piston with a lot of the side skirt missing and all the rest of it. However, this does cause a problem because when you look at the piston below, you have the bulk of material in the middle for your wrist pin to go through and then you have a skirt here like so and then they have a few of these webs to maintain the strength. Um, what am I doing here? Maintain the strength within the piston and you have all these radiuses and fillets and all the rest of it so you don't have any high stress regions that will cause breakage but they cut away most of it you know and a lot of the times they end up cutting away most of this and all the rest of it they're trying to make the pistons as light as possible to reduce reciprocating masses because anything you can remove from the piston means you can remove that from the crankshaft which means that everything should be able to go to higher rpms which means that rpm is, uh, times your torque equals power so that's how you get more power great the other thing is as well is the pistons need to be able to um, be stiff enough to take the shock and all the rest of it of obviously a high pressure combustion pushing down on the piston and so on and so forth so what they've done to um, increase <laughs> this is this is real engineering for you increase stiffness reduce weight you know what I mean? That's what it's all about. How can I make this stronger and stiffer and betterer, but I can also make it lighter? Well, what they do is instead is they fill the whole thing in. So they start off with a piston like this. And basically all you're doing is you're eating out the sides. So it's a complete piston that has a full length skirt. But instead you're just chopping out the material in the middle where you don't need it. So here's a solid piston like so you've got your rings in you put a hole there and then basically you thin out the inside like they have been doing before but then you just remove all this shit as well or you kind of do something a bit sexier so it's like an alien piston or what have you so there's a lot more of it missing and all the rest of it but then you can increase stiffness and strength now the way you increase stiffness is versus your old piston because at the end of the day your old piston have these skinny walls and you're basically just propping them up with some webs whereas in with this it's a full circumference skirt so there's a lot more stiffness and increased surface area and what have you um, for the actual webs inside the actual piston and so on but you can um, you know you're lining it up you're taking away material where you don't need the other thing is as well is if piston slip is, is to actually occur what they have with this piston is is you have the whole side skirt of a normal piston that's so badly what's going on you know so you have the whole side skirt of your piston like so and it'll be this region here that starts to you know starts to slap where because they've fucking started chewing big holes out of it and all the rest of it it's only this section here that actually makes contact which means that even when the piston does start to skid and slap there's very, uh, you know, a lot lower friction, which means it's less damaging to the cylinder, which also means that these engines should last longer because, uh, due to, you know, cylinder overling, because you're not overling it as much, because when the piston does come into contact with it, there's a lot less surface area. Um, to actually do all that rub and wear and friction surfaces, it kind of does mean that if you slam the piston against the wall with the same force as it did before, that you will actually increase the pressure because you've got a it's the same forces but you've got a smaller surface contact area so it means the pressures are going to be higher 
Um, and it's a balancing act between the two. You'd say, well, just completely remove it, but that's the problem is you then, then get your fucking, literally your pistons doing this. They need some kind of stability. So when that force is applied to it and the rod isn't directly beneath the actual piston, it doesn't just cause the fucking piston to just rotate like a butterfly. Hope that makes sense. Like I said, I'll put some pictures up and I want to see so you can go and have a look. I'll put a link to their um, website of what's what. And I'll see you in a bit.